and that's called A Man Inside My Mouth, which was the B-side to Close to Me. There's nothing amusing about that, Rex. I don't know why you're laughing. Well, it's called A Man Inside My Mouth. I don't know. And that's fine. Yeah, it's like, you know, this, uh, like, you know, the little man inside your head. Yeah. You know, man if, if a man mouth. wants to be inside anyone's mouth, that's good, you know, good for <laughs> <up> them. <to him. Yeah. laughs> uh, uh, There's nothing wrong with that. But so. I agree. Yeah. Uh, uh, Carl, do you agree with that? What man in your head? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> it's brilliant, it? It doesn't even understand schoolboy carry-on innuendo. I, mean, I know the fact that the play on words is too far then. What does it mean on sight of the erection? <laughs> and what? Um, what do you mean dumplings? Huh? You're a fan of The Simpsons. You yeah. know that character in The Simpsons, the, um, gap tooth yokel? Yeah. If I look at Carl when Cletus. he looks like Cletus. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. It's, yeah. Really, it's, that, it's the kind of <laughs> cliche comic book thing of having a mouth wide open <laughs> to suggest formlessness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's amazing. Or an accommodating come on. Yes. Absolutely. Carl. Oh. That little man inside your head is what, you know, if that, people use it as your conscience, don't they? Alright. Have you ever heard that before? Yeah. Uh, no? No. No? Uh, okay. I was, uh, I was watching Moonraker. Uh, it was on, I think it was last week. Yeah. Um, I don't know how familiar you are with the James Bond films. I have never, I don't think I've ever watched a Bond film from beginning to end. Yeah. I've never watched it on DVD, and I've never gone to cinema to watch one, and I I'm not usually in on Easter Saturday. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, 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 honestly. The thing about James when I was younger, I, I thought he was amazing. I just thought he was the ultimate cool, sophisticated hero. Do you know what I mean? My dream as a kid, like when I say kid, I mean a teenager, was to come home, which invariably he did. He'd come back to his hotel suite, he'd open the door, there'd be a trail of clothes, and he'd follow yeah. it, he'd go into the bedroom, and there'd be a beautiful woman in the bed, you know. You'd have said, clean up, <laughs> what are you doing? You're messy. <laughs> I'm gonna forget my mum didn't clean all this <laughs> up right. now. Mom, she's got a bad, bad <laughs> nudie lady in my bed. <laughs> um, but, uh, and as I say, I used to think he was really cool and sophisticated, and it's only of late that I've sort of watched, you've revisited these films, and it's, I'll tell you what, it's his jokes. Oh. He is the oh, most infuriating man yeah, ever. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know why people in the films consider him so. I mean, I, I think the reason that women in the films are always being seduced by him is because if you notice, they're normally they normally got English as a second language. Right. So they don't understand. They don't so when he's making those jokes, so they don't know when he goes. Uh, uh, just keeping the British end up. Yeah, I'm just attempting re-entry. Yeah. If that was a British woman, she'd be going, what? what yeah, are you talking don't about? say you that. That sounds bastard. awful and it's a terrible it's poem, It's so rude, what am I? Yeah, what am I? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they just laugh. They just laugh coquettishly and then, yeah, yeah. you know, unzip their dress normally. Yeah. <laughs> but some yeah. of the guys, there was one where he's, uh, He's just being chased by a guy in a moped or something, and the guy plummets off a cliff and smashes through a van which is full of feathers, and he plummets to his death, and Bond just says, all those feathers, and he still couldn't fly. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? It's not a joke. It's just words. Uh, there's one where he, in Moonraker, he punches this guy, he's having a fight, he punches him through a plate glass window, and he lands on a piano, and Bond goes, play it again, Sam. <laughs> The one, uh, I always remember there's the one in one uh, of the early films where he, he kill he, he throws a guy in the bath and electrocutes him by throwing in a um oh, uh, a thing and then he goes sh absolutely sh shocking. shocking. But yeah. I'm just thinking you just killed a man. I know you're well, a he's... psychopath. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. It's, just, it's just so excruciating. <laughs> if someone was doing those kind of jokes in the office, yeah, you yeah. would hate them. Do you know what I mean you wouldn't yeah. want to talk to them? They'd be a bore. I know. Yeah, everything, everything's, everything's a little a one liner. liner. I know, and everything's a pun. Yeah, but I tell you what, he's a bloody good secret agency. <laughs> True. So, you know, they're, they're not hired for their, um, you know, wit and, uh, and stand-up ability. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, you know, it swings and roundabouts. Yeah. I yeah. doubt Johnny Vegas could, uh, save the world. That's true enough, yeah. So, uh, think on. Different people, different needs. <laughs> Kings of Leon. California waiting on XFM 104.9. Do you know what, Steve? We get emails and, uh, you know, we got our posters up around this show and, uh, people enjoy it. But I don't think we get the credit we deserve for picking the music. It's true. Because we're totally unplaylisted, and I don't know if people know about this, that m mine and Steve's sort of first passion before comedy is probably music. We're really, really, we love playing each other sort of records and that. And maybe when we come back, we should do a show where there is no pressure to, you know, like, Carl doesn't press the buttons for it, pre-record it, where we just we swap each other's sort of ideas for music. It'd be like uh, the Ricky Gervais compilation tape. Well, sort of like we're not, we're not talking John Peel, where we try and find obscure Belgian jungle mm. and do demos. You know, everything from you know Kings of Leon 
Lou Reed, you know, maybe a bit of 80s stuff that people yeah, have forgotten yeah. about. Beautiful something. songs, beautiful songs. So what do you think? I'd love to do that, Rick. I mean, I genuinely, I, there's nothing more exciting to me than introducing to someone a song which they then that go on they, and they, they love, love and they listen, maybe they buy the album, da, 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 da. But that's something to think about, maybe, for later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's like you say, the, the pressure to kind of come up with some, you know, um, high caliber chat yeah. between each record, it is, it takes the toll. But, um, yeah, yeah and then that, that's, that's, you know, it's, it's a passion of ours and we'd love to, but, 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 but now, it's Rockbusters. Can I just say something now, before we do Rockbusters, a lot of people sort of, they come up to me, they say, Steve, we like the show, when are you gonna get rid of Rockbusters? It, it brings it down. I, I'm not joking. That. I'm not joking. There is loads of people. Like, come on, let, let come, off speak. come off it. Come what? off it. What? I know people who say, you're never gonna stop that, are you? Yeah. So, one of us is lying again. <laughs> Well, not really. You know, I, I, I'm talking I love about. His face. I'm talking about people who've listened to the show. You're talking about Suzanne, <laughs> your uh, girlfriend. Oh, uh, Martin. He, he'll be at home now with a pad, getting ready <laughs> to play. But I should just. Max to... Freeman did, did say, did encourage Carl on a couple of occasions. He even tried to get him through with the answer egg when we were doing that naming animal round. Yes. So, but I should just say that people they people think that somehow Ricky and I are endorsing Rockbusters that somehow by allowing it on the show, somehow we think it's good or we appreciate it. And I need to point out that it's more like when a child comes back from school and they've done a painting. Yeah, it's crap. Yeah, but of course the you've got to stick it on bigger the than the house. <laughs> you've got to stick it yeah. on the fridge because otherwise it's, the kids can exactly. get upset. In this next episode, you've got to remember the cat is bigger <laughs> than the house. Exactly. It's, okay. It doesn't look like anything. The humans don't have bodies. Their legs come straight from their heads. Yeah, mummy and daddy. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Carl Pilkington's Rockbusters. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, uh, cryptic clues, no, initials, cryptic. and you work Rubbish it out, clue. you email in and that. Yeah. First one. Yeah. Uh, don't be stealing my tools, take your sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and the initials N-K. Don't be so, stealing my tools, take my sisters. Yeah, so that's like the cryptic clue, and the initials of the artist or band is N-K, mm -hmm. right? Second one. Buy it if you want, not bother, think about it. Come back, <laughs> right, come back if you want. <laughs> start again, guys, I don't know what I do! Right, start that second one again! Right, well, you can back- <laughs> It's different, it's different! Well, the first one was, uh, buy it if you want, now this one was, uh, yeah, well, write it down, buy it, right, right. do it, do it, if it's a cryptic clue, all the letters count, do it. Buy it if you want, I'm not that bothered, you know, think about it, come back, check some other places out first before you, you know. <laughs> So we've got no we've got no time for other clues. Right. right. So that's S C. Right, that, do that clue again. Buy it if you want. I'm not I'm not, I'm not fussed, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Think about fussed. it. Fast! Fast is making a appearance! Fast was not there before! Do the clue again! Do the clue again! <laughs> Initials SC for that one. Do the clue again! I don't, don't want to do it again. Do you haven't finished it yet? I have, that's it. No, do the clue again. <laughs> do, do the clue again. Well, I'll bite if you want, I'm not fussed, right? Chop around, <laughs> come back. It's up to you. I'm not, I'm not pushing you into anything. It's right? up to you, it wasn't there! S, S, C. S, C oh, for that one, dear. right? And the final one, uh, <sighs> that's good, I can play ten pin bowling again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what's oh, the clue? Well, that's, that's O for that one. O. o. All right, so uh, there the okay, now I assume that I'm not going to bother to look, but I assume there's a, there's a <laughs> jiffy bag of tap yeah. which people can win. All right, well, great, good luck. Uh, um, Ricky Gervais at xfm.co.uk is the email address. Play record. Thorns. Oh, no, 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 buy it if you want. I'm not pushing. Come back, have a look round. I'm, not, I'm, I'm open Wednesdays, by the way. Shit, I'm not. Go on, Carl. Um, Should we have the Rockbusters answer? Yeah, You've got to get those hats out of the way. I'd love to. Uh, number one was, don't be stealing my tools. Take your sisters. The initials were NK. That was Nick Urso. Right? Nick Ursel? Nick Ursel. 80s. I don't know, I've never heard of that band. Nick Kershaw. Nick, oh, Nick Kershaw. Oh, no, oh yeah, Nick Kershaw, yeah. Nick, oh, sorry, what, what, Nick I don't understand it, Nick, how does Nick Kershaw? Second one. No, 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 don't move on! Nick Ursel! What's Nick Ursel? <laughs> Jesus. All right. It doesn't <laughs> count, it's not a clue! So let's just leave it behind us, all right? Second one was, uh, buy it if you want, you know, I'm not bothered, you can think about it, come back, have a, have a look around, think it over. I'm yeah. not, I'm not fussed. The initials were SC, that was soft cell, right? That works. Yeah. Well done. That works. Right. And that's good, I can, uh, I can play some pin bowling again. That's O, that's outcast, all right? What does that mean? Outcast? You know, you, you, you broke your arm, right? 
got the oh, cast that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's ludicrous. I mean, that's ridiculous. You broke your arm, you were in a cast, you got rid of the cast, you're out cast. Did yeah. anyone get that? Yeah. I, I mean, I am stunned. I think, to be fair, that was because how many bands begin with O? Yeah. I think that's why people got it. Exactly. But they were guesses, yeah. I could probably make Oasis work if I tried hard enough. We've done that. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, oh, so, uh, Outcast. That's ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? But it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Worse than that. What is it? It's a leap to We're bowling. Not worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Imagine I remember, that. I remember, I remember when I did my wrist in and it fixed. I went temping bowling. Why did you? Why did you? So, so it's what you did. Brilliant. So next week's quiz is what am I thinking? You're an idiot, Carl.